Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome to a game called Life is Strange. Now, from what I understand, this is going to be a five-part episodic release. And uh, it's really heavily focused on the choices that you make. I'm not sure how that's going to relate or compare to the Telltale game stuff, but I'm assuming it's somewhere along that line. But they're really putting a lot of emphasis behind the choice, and I'm hoping that the choices actually have a really tangible difference in the story. The other cool thing that they're talking about is there's a little bit of... I don't know if it's a superpower or there's something that we have that lets us rewind time and change events to alter the future. So that will be really interesting. But aside from that, I don't really know a whole lot. So I'm pretty excited to jump into it. Uh, let's get started. This is Life is Strange. We're gonna start a new game and hope for the best. Okay, great. So, this is us. I don't know how old we are exactly, but... It doesn't really matter at this point. We're in some kind of trouble. Not sure how we ended up here. It'll be interesting to see... If we're gonna need to do a lot of exploration, or if it will let us do that. Look at this. Is this we got a major storm happening here. Blackwell Academy, 1910. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light is this the first time shower. this has happened to us? From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? If anybody else looked at this, Whoa. what would they think? Okay, this is pretty intense. Um... It looks like we've got, like, multiple tabs here. Episode 1. This looks like different locations. Text messages. 
Have a very special 18th birthday. Okay, so we're 18. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Well, thanks, Dad. Okay. Kate. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. T2YL. Fair enough. Wrote for mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. Can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Brought to us? Okay, so maybe adopted? September 21st. I'm assuming that's today. And Warren. Make sure you check out... Wait, hold on. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. This is a couple of... This is a whole bunch of messages on different days. Please. Make sure you check the necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max. Let's bust shit up. <laughs> Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to me measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Okay, so this is from October 5th or May 10th? Yeah, it's October 5th. So this is from September 21st, which means that's not today. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I can't believe I still have this work. pencil case. I, I should upgrade to the 21st Robinson. century. But Me I like too. it old school. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. I do and love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what <laughs> you kids call a selfie. I knew he'd call a us on that. for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max... Has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh, okay. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Okay. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Thanks for rubbing it in. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> this must be a major art school, then, if he's willing to fly out a student. Now, what was on the ground here? We didn't get a chance to see that. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. No, she sure doesn't. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That is cool. They're using... It's funny how exactly like Lightroom it is. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Okay, so these are things that he's shot. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like we envy this guy quite a bit. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. I kind of want to. Such a photo nerd. I kind of want to eavesdrop here. I my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have that totally. Shirt. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. 
I don't think I like her already. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Why would I have embarrassed her? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. <laughs> so, Victoria's kind of like the class suck-up, I guess. And if we think she's already won, then... We're probably just going to concede any type of effort that we would put forth. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Yeah, that didn't go as well as I hoped. We'll try and... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, cool. Are these all scenes that we could take? I'm going to assume that, yes, that's the case. So, if these are all shots that we could take, we'll have to be on the lookout for these. Broken skateboard, beard with a bow tie, picture of a bunch of pictures, football with broken glass probably through a window, sunset, RV, bird, and then, what is this, like a mirror probably? Light switch and then the squirrel on the Coke can. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood, home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Okay, so it is a private school. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. Yikes. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Say cheese. And what's this? Are these- okay, cool. So this is probably flipping through the other people. So Jefferson. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has a smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing for us preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday hero contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Now, I've forgotten, this is Kate, the girl we just talked to, I believe. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Okay. And I noticed the cross, too, so she must be religious and, and uh, for abstinence, that's cool. Even if they act immature, everyone at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. We did invite her, but she doesn't seem interested. And then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwall Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 years old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything to maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. What's the Vortex Club? 
The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She obviously has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She was up there, like, flaunting what she probably doesn't have. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Hero Contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Interesting. And then we've got, like, a full-on diary here, which is kind of cool. I'd like to go through this because I think this is going to give us a lot of information and, uh, backstory. Let's start here. Uh, July 10th. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Uh, if words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. <laughs> but who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited, it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, I'm going to have to, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. So it's obviously something that we've wanted for quite a long time. Very happy to get in. This is a... boat a month later. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Okay, so we were originally from here, which makes sense because we were referencing the friend that we used to be friends with that we left and now we're back and we haven't talked to her. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe, this is a girl, and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled fairway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photographer or photography under Mark Jefferson? Oh, insert hearts and flowers. <laughs> Plus, there would be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates, or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. But a week later, shit is crazy here. <laughs> Didn't realize how much crap I had to pack a tail to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out the room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and, I, and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about this... Uh, is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. So things probably weren't going great. She's excited, or we're excited, about being able to uh, reform ourselves and be whoever we want to be. That's one of the cool things about moving to different places. Um, let's see. About a week later. My first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Next day. Blackwell sucks ass. <laughs> I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. Barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy-ass clothes, as if I am at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be her own reality show. <laughs> 
So that wasn't fun along with my general uh, social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want to this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today in Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Uh, a little bit of swooning happening. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass out of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does know... He does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll at least need... I'll at least... I'll need at least one based on the click action here. Uh, I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to do well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. <laughs> this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. She actually has a very interesting writing style. A couple weeks later, homework sick in my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder to stop just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts gave a shitload of bank to Blackwell. So Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts all popular parties... Okay, that puts on all popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I, don't, I wonder why vortex club, though. I wonder if it has something to do with the tornado that we saw? I don't know. Um, I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. Makes her feel more beautiful than the beaches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue day sky. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and a lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell. And of course, I'm scared, of, scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Week later. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more. Even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? <laughs> and lastly, October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and the sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, okay, let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. Cool. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me in the loop, you have all the time in the world. Cool. And there's a Ray Bradbury um, book that they're mentioning, which is cool. He did uh, Fahrenheit 451, which is referenced in, like, tons of video games. Um, especially, like, well, some Square Enix stuff, like Deus Ex, but also in uh, the Bioshock games. Very interesting. So I think, let's just see here, we've got like one, I don't know what this is really referencing, but one picture in this location, potentially. 
I know it took a long time to go through, but I, I really think that that could be beneficial to give us all the Even backstory. Even books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Little jealousy there, I guess. I don't know. Should I use this thing? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Whoa. Blackwell. With all that speed and power expected from the new Greenlit, the GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have a superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. Yeah. And honestly, for camera people, and I'm one of those people, like, <laughs> that's exactly how cameras get described all the time. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Oh god. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Blackwell Academy. Oh, oh. I wonder if that's real or if they're just totally making that up. And maybe that's- but if it is real, maybe that's why she's all, like, kept to herself lately, because I like this something came out. view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Which is what we were having, like, the daydream or flashback or who knows what it was. That's the same lighthouse. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Very strange. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She's probably, like, there's probably some of that, but I don't feel like she's talking shit to us all the time yet, but we'll see. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Okay, we're gonna man up, as it were. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. <laughs> Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Yeah. I'm not gonna make excuses, but do I have to hand it in? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Well, doesn't look like I have a way to hand anything in. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Me too, actually. There's, there's a certain um, quality with analog cameras and like digital stuff is great and it's super convenient but there's just like an intangible quality to something like the old Kodak film cameras or even as cheap as they are you can buy like crappy little Polaroids now at things like um, Urban Outfitters and stuff like that and they're pretty cool like just to get like old school retro style uh, photos for fun. Man he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really exciting. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Hmm. Heroic action. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. All right. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the cute. real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying 150 dollars. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. 
There we go. Let's zone out. Chrysalis. Imagine it's about us kind of coming out of our shell a little bit. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. You, American girls, I'd like 19 years old, tattoo on a calf of a dragon and a star in the inside of the left wrist. Popping up everywhere, a whole bunch of people. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. American girls in the Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. She's probably on Reddit, to be honest. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Okay, well, nobody's really looking. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Yes, this poster must stop always dead in your tracks. <laughs> totally. I've never understood those anti-bullying posters, like... There was a good movie, though, called Bully. If you haven't seen this movie, you gotta watch Bully. Wow. Uh, it's also extremely sad. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. <laughs> I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah, count your blessings. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Is this guy getting picked on? I hate bully jockstrap like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I would like to step in there if I could. I wish October would last forever. Is this the same girl? Looks like she's been gone for months. Yeah. April 22nd. Okay, Rachel Amber. I'm sure that's going to come up at some point. Don't need a PC. Missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> PC fully loaded. Reward. My backpack with all my school books. My new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. Willing to give a small cash reward. No questions asked. Too bad. That's so messed up. Well, the past. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. <laughs> Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice. Don't let your town down. Another missing persons poster. I wonder what actually happened. To they should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> you can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. We did have to go to the bathroom, so we could head down that way. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. It looks like she's been gone for months. 
Okay, here's something with the Vortex Club. Oh, I can hardly wait. Never be too cool <laughs> like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. But is it Victoria that's really causing us to have all these issues, or is it li is it everybody, in fact? Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Damn it, I was hoping we'd be excited about chess. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. We don't need to melt down. Let's just chill. Rachel Amber is a bitch. What? Now who would bother to write that crap? <laughs> Especially considering the circumstances. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It Do all it. started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? We got to take a picture of this. That would be great. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. That's a pretty cool shot. Fuck it. No! Oh, God. Okay. Never mind. Didn't like it either. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl. You don't get a photo op like this every day. No, we don't. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Why do you come in Don't here? Scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am Whoa. who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing Whoa. down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! No, no way! Okay, here we go. Whoa. What the fuck? How? What? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give oh. me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Uh oh. Because of her images. Oh wow, that is cool. A photographer who perfectly captured human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? 
Now, do I have to... Together, Max. Do we want to do the same thing to lead to the same results or not? She when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first <laughs> self-portraits. Yes, I can, actually. Oh. Actually, no, I can't. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Oh, damn it. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Alice class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What this icon means you learned a useful fact that, that you may be able to use if you rewind. People's faces, making them extreme. Right, because I had actually learned that last time, and that's what I wanted to say, but we didn't have the choice. Now, Max. Since you've captured oh, this our is going to be interesting conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I can. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yep, nailed it. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far away. Still the same. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. I'd say it's a little bit more than that. I want to yes, check out the paper ball again. What are you waiting for? Go! Okay, what about Kate? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter I wish we didn't is, what. This is just a bump on a I have to go. Too much happening right now. Sure. Okay, hold on. Maybe. Let's talk later, Max. Never mind. Okay, let's get to the washroom. See what we can do here. I only want to share whatever. I see you, Max Caulfield. Yeah, Don't I know. Even I'm think busy. About leaving here until we talk about your. Oh entry. God damn. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. Okay, It'll but take good a ones. a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Got a murder to solve here. Oh, okay. No, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know- Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, damn, I see. Biting time? Okay, so the John Lennon thing. Elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. 
Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your This homework. is wild. Okay, Excuse there's a lot of possibilities Mr. here. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy <laughs> making cool. other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay, thanks. Now I have a murder to go prevent. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Got that right. Wait, let's check the missing persons again. You remember that it's payday? If I don't hurry to that bathroom, yeah, Rachel Amber. another girl will be in trouble. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Butterfly. Then, there it is. Butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Then the boy came in. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? Okay, we need to probably make doing? a noise here. Don't Come on, put that thing down. Oh, perfect. Browser, it's happening. I need a hammer to break it open. Kidding? We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Hurry, hurry, <laughs> hurry, hurry. Psycho! No! Oh, shit, I can't let this happen. Oh, you retain if facts and inventory. Me, help her. This than drugs. Nobody. Interesting. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Oh, no that's going to be tricky. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> uh oh. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Clear out the whole school. Yep, this is gonna get us in trouble. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. That's I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, what do I do? Why would I not report the guy? He's insane. It's just that his parents pretty much run the school, which is a little bit of a problem. I don't know if these are reversible either, so this could be pretty serious. I mean, he almost shot the girl. Why would I hide that? He's gonna hurt more people. He's nuts. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yeah, yes. I'm sure. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. 
Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's Well, I'm not just making shit up, dude. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion uh, it's later the name. The in thing my is... office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Oh, this is tough. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? That's crazy. I don't know. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. So we can kind of alter a whole bunch of things. Let's see. Let's go back to that decision point. See what the alternative is. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. <laughs> oh my don't god. Don't think I don't know what goes on around what here. What goes on around You've here? You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. Damn, that's no, tough. Does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. That's a tough thing, right? It's like, oh. I do think I'd like to stick with that option. I think I'd like to stick with the truth. What's the worst thing that could happen? Besides him killing me, well, that could that could possibly happen. You look a little. I just saw Nathan. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna take a break here. This is gonna be really interesting, and yes, choice. But it's like you can decide whether you want your choice to stick or not, which is really, it's kind of. Really tough to decide on a decision, if that makes sense. I'm not sure what the right move is, but um, looks like we'll be able to kind of set up scenarios, execute it the way that we're happy with, and then move on and see how that plays out. But um, whether that's going to work well or not, I have no idea. This is kind of interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes, and uh, thank you guys for the support. I'll Matt, certainly you see you soon. Go on outside now. And. Uh, yeah, wish me luck. Take care. Bye.